Hello everyone, I'm GC Rock, and today is Tuesday, which means we've got another vendor reset video. I'm gonna go around all the vendors and show you what's on sale this week. Last week was an absolute epic week. This week isn't too far off either, you'll see as we go around. Uh, before I do start today's video, I do just wanna give a shout out to TSW Poultry Department. We had a great stream at the weekend. It, it was insane. If you missed it, you missed out. It was so, so funny, but... Uh, yeah, thank you for a great stream this weekend, guys. Everyone involved, actually. We're streaming against some raids tonight on PlayStation from 8 p.m. UK. It's Xbox tomorrow from 8 p.m. UK, and then Thursday from 8 p.m. UK it is PC. If you want raid help, be in those streams we pull from stream. Uh, but we're going to go ahead now and do this vendor reset. Before we do, do hit like and share to support the video. If you're new here, hit subscribe to help me reach 30,000 subscribers. I'm so close to that now. We're going to hit that in July. Thank you so much. And before you do leave the video today, make sure you check out our community. It's linked at the top of the the description we're just about to hit 14,000 members you are not going to regret that if you're a division agent it is the place to be let's get into the vendor reset now and starting with the base of operations you've got this test subject on sale this week we've got assault rifle damage health damage stability and this comes with perfectly in sync there's a Banshee SMG with SMG damage, critical hit chance, reload speed, and preservation. We've got a CTAR with assault rifle damage, health damage, critical hit chance, and strained. A Magnum 586 with pistol damage, damage to armor, and close and personal. There's a Providence backpack that had good potential at the start. You got weapon damage, critical hit damage, but then it's skill haste and galvanized, so that kind of ruins it. But there is a great Fenris chest piece. This is probably one of the pick of the weeks. We've got weapon damage. Critical hit damage, critical hit chance. So it's all the rolls that you want. You can roll any talent on that you want. And if you want spotter, then keep the talent and make a roll on one of the attributes there. Uh, but this is a very good piece. It does need some love on the optimization station, but one of the pick of the weeks for sure. The mods this week is a critical hit damage mod of 10.1%. We have a plus two extra bomb for a drone. We have a plus one extra sniper ammo for a turret. And then a 6.3% damage mod for a sticky. And then sticking with the base of operations and heading to the clan vendor, we have another pick of the week, and they are the contractor's gloves. Just look at these. We've got weapon damage, damage to armor, and critical hit damage is already rolled on. So you can max out weapon damage here, optimize the critical hit damage, and these are absolutely godly. These are a must-buy for this week and the pick of the week for sure. Uh, he is also selling an Aces and Eights chest piece with weapon damage, explosive resistance, some Eclipse protocol knee pads with skill tier and hazard protection, an Aces and Eights backpack, with weapon damage, critical hit damage. We've got a foul. Uh, this comes with assault rifle damage, health damage, magazine size, and sadist. A PDR with assault rifle damage, health damage, reload speed, and ranger. A Spaz 12 shotgun with shotgun damage, damage to armor, critical hit damage, and vindictive. A Hanayu backpack with a skill tier, status effects, explosive resistance, and bloodsucker. A military M9 with pistol damage, magazine size, and in sync. We have Empress International knees with skill tier, explosive resistance, and repair skills. Mukami knee pads with skill tier, status effects, and skill haste. And in the mods this week are a 17.6% repair skills mod. We have an 11% protection from elites mod, a 7.6% headshot damage mod, and then an 8.4% scan range mod for a drone. And then over at the campus this week, we have a Quiet Roar. This comes with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, rate of fire, and perfect overwhelm. We have a surplus SVD with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, health damage, and optimist. A military L86 with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, critical hit chance, and spike. A Badger Tough mask with armor, hazard protection, headshot damage. A Gilligard holster with armor, weapon handling, and critical hit chance. And then the mods this week is a 10.1% skill ace mod. We have a 4.3% duration mod on a chem. We have an 8.2% stim efficiency mod for a hive. A 6.2% cone size for a pulse. And then a 4.3% duration mod for a trap. And then moving over to the theatre settlement, we've got these firm handshake gloves. These could be really good for somebody. They come with headshot damage. You've got status effects that come on them anyway. And then weapon damage, of course. There's a Spaz 12 again. This comes with shotgun damage, damage to armor, headshot damage, and pummel. We have an M16A2 with rifle damage, critical hit damage, accuracy, and steady handed. Alp Summit gloves with skill tier, skill damage, and critical hit damage. Overlord knee pads with weapon damage, skill haste, headshot damage. And then the mods this week are 8.2% bleed resistance mod. We have a plus one cluster mine mod for uh, seeker mines. 
we have a 4.1% hosted regeneration mod for a shield, a plus one max target mod for a firefly, and a 6% duration mod for a decoy. And then we get to move on to the DZ vendors. We're starting at West as always. Uh, he is selling an everlasting gaze with rifle damage, critical hit damage, headshot damage, and perfect perpetuation. We've got a tactical sausage 12 for shotgun damage, damage to armor, critical hit chance, and optimist. A 6716 CQB with rifle damage, critical hit damage, rate of fire and perpetuation. Rigger gloves here with skill tier and status effects. Ongoing directive knee pads with weapon damage and headshot damage. We've got a Roldy Holdings gloves with weapon damage, critical hit chance and explosive resistance. Gilligard knee pads with armor, explosive resistance and skill damage. And then the mods this week are an 8.5% ensnare resistance mod. We have a 4.7% skill haste mod for mines. We have a 4.3% shield health mod for a shield. A 5.7% damage mod for a firefly. And then a 6% health mod for a decoy. And then moving to DZ South, this week on sale is the Grudge. This is a great SMG, it's the one you get from Aaron Kino at the end of the game. Uh, but it comes with SMG damage, critical hit chance, reload speed, and perfect vindictive. We have an enhanced org here as well, SMG damage, critical hit chance, reload speed, and future perfect. A SOCOM MK16 with assault rifle damage, health damage, stability, and future perfect. An M45A1 with pistol damage, critical hit chance, and future perfect. This vendor likes Future Perfect this week. We have an Eclipse Protocol backpack with skill tier, skill damage. A tip of the spear chest piece with weapon damage, skill haste. A circle of concern backpack there with weapon damage, armor regen, skill haste and leadership. A 511 chest piece with armor, armor regen, skill damage and unbreakable. And then the mods this week are a 9.9% critical hit damage mod. We have a 7.9% scan range mod for a drone. We have a 5.9% skill ace mod for a turret. And then a 4.2% skill ace mod for a sticky. And then the last DZ vendor is DZ East. And she is selling a Carnage with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, optimal range, it comes with Perfect Sadist. An M700 Carbon with Marksman Rifle damage, Headshot damage, optimal range, and Sadist. A Tactical M249 Para with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, reload speed, and ignited. We have an ongoing Directive Mask with weapon damage and skill damage. Future Initiative Holster with skill tier and repair skills. A Petrov Mask with Weapon Damage, Weapon Handling and Repair Skills. A Yarl Holster with Armor, Repair Skills and Critical Hit Chance. And then the mods this week are a 10.2% Skill Ace mod. We have a plus one ammo for a Chem. We have a 7.4% Health mod for a Hive. An 8.5% Effect Duration mod for a Pulse. And then a 4.3% Duration mod for a Trap. And now we get to finish the video off with the New York vendors, starting with Marco. Marco this week is selling a military AKM with assault rifle damage, health damage, swap speed, and killer. A black market RPK with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, damage to armor, and vindictive. We have a tactical sausage with shotgun damage, damage to armor, magazine size, and sadist. An officer's M9A1 with pistol damage, magazine size, vindictive. A Petrov chest piece with weapon damage, repair skills, skill damage, and vanguard. An Alp Summit gloves with skill tier, repair skills, and weapon handling. A Walker mask with weapon damage, health, explosive resistance. And then the mods this week are a 4.4% critical hit chance mod. We have a 6.9% headshot damage mod. We have a 4.9% skill ace mod for seekers. There's a 6.2% burn strength for a chem. And then we have a 4.3% skill ace mod for a sticky. And then finally we have Roy Benitez. He is selling this week an org with assault rifle damage, health damage, damage to armor, and close and personal. A surplus SVD with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, damage to armor, and eyeless. A military MK17 with rifle damage, critical hit damage, damage to target out of cover, and ignited. A police 686 magnum with pistol damage, optimal range, and spike. Gilligard Backpack with Armor, Headshot Damage, Weapon Handling and Bloodsucker. Overlord Knee Pads with Weapon Damage, Weapon Handling and Headshot Damage. A Seska Holster which is looking very tasty with Weapon Damage, Critical Hit Damage and Hazard Protection. And then the mods this week are 8.3% Burn Resistance mod. We have a 10.2% Skill Ace mod. We have a 7.8% Health mod for a Turret. A 7.3% Health mod for a Hive. And then a 6.1% Duration mod for a Trap. 
And that does bring us to the end of the video. My top picks for this week are the test subject at the base of operations with that Fenris chest that was there as well. That Fenris chest was really godly. And obviously the contractor's gloves at the clan vendor. Now I'm sure there's more picks of the weeks for other people in here. Uh, I've covered everything for you today like I do every single Tuesday and tomorrow we will be doing the Cassie Mendoza reset video as well. She isn't live today so we're not going to bother finding her but we'll upload that video tomorrow. Uh, but this does bring us to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit like and share to support it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and now we are done you're definitely going to want to go and check out our community. It is linked at the top of the video description. I'll be back tonight at 8 p.m. UK on PlayStation if you're looking for help with raids. Make sure you jump in on that but thank you for watching this. Until next time stay safe and peace out.